Welcome to 21 Days of Prayer and Fasting. This is day seven, and this is the final day where we're focusing on experiencing the Father. And today, as I said, day seven, we're going to look at God the Father, His gifts to us. Here's a little bit longer passage, Romans chapter 12, verses 3 to 8. It says, For by the grace given me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment in accordance with the measure of faith that God has given you. Just as each one of us has one body with many members, and all these members do not have the same function, so in Christ we who are many form one body, and each one, each member belongs to all the others. Uh, we have different gifts according to the grace given us. If a man's gift is prophesying, let him use it in proportion to his faith. If, if it is serving, let him serve. If it's teaching, let him teach. If it is encouraging, let him encourage. If it is contributing to the needs of others, let him give generously. If it is leadership, then let him govern diligently. And if it's showing mercy, let him do it cheerfully. Now, theologians call these seven gifts enumerated here the gifts of the Father. Each person on the face of the earth was given one or more of these seven gifts or natural abilities, natural gifts, when we were formed within our mother's womb. Uh, prophesying, which in this context is probably dynamic public speaking, um, serving, teaching, encouraging, contributing needs, leadership, and showing mercy. All of us on the planet have one or more of these seven gifts, uh, even if we're not a Christian, because they're given to us by the Father when God created us. Now again, notice the experiential nature of what Father God gives us. No matter what our profession is in life, the gifts of the Father shine through what we're doing. You can tell someone with the gift of teaching, you know, just even when you ask for their opinion, they're going to teach when they share their opinion. A person with the gift of encouraging makes you feel better even if they are having a difficult day. A person with the gift of prophesying can convince you that whatever they're saying is true even if they have no supporting evidence. A person with the gift of serving will make sure that the function goes well even if they're just a guest. A person with the gift of contributing will not stop until they're sure your needs are met. Some with the gift of leadership will take charge and get the event moving, even if no one invited them to. And you will feel so understood and loved when some with the gift of mercy talks to you. Do not minimize that aspect of who, our, who God the Father is. When we discover and use our gifts, not only will we make our will we make the lives of others better, we'll be able to more joyfully make a living while using our gifts. It's amazing that when we discover the gifts of the Father and our gifts of the Father and, and let our employers know them too, we can get paid to use the gifts that the Father God gave us so freely. And we can also use the minister into the lives of others in our church and in our community. So how do we pray? Say, Father God, thank you for freely giving me gifts that I can use to provide for my needs and the needs of my family, also to find fulfillment in life, and at the same time use those same gifts to bless others. Help me to fully discover all the gifts that you have given me and how I should best use them to serve my employer and others, and certainly you, God. What can we do? Well, write down the seven gifts of the Father and then ask a few of your close friends who know you which they, which they think are your top gifts. You can also maybe take a Romans 12 gift survey to help you. There's lots of them online. But either way, your goal is to discover your, the gifts of the Father that he has given you and then start to use them to serve others. Serving others with our gifts is a wonderful way to say thank you to God the Father for what he's given us. And it's also a wonderful way to experience his love for us. So here's some reflection questions that you can go through as you uh, go through today's devotional. And one more. Just pause the video and look at the questions. And tomorrow, 21 days of prayer and fasting. And we're now going to look at the gifts of the Son 
I'm sorry, that we're going to look at the uh, who the sun is for the next seven days and let that transform us also. So God bless you. See you again tomorrow.